what is up guys and welcome back to the channel alec crowder here uh as we're shifting from truck stuff we're going into hunting season and hunting season means pew pewing on some ducks okay so uh every friday leading up towards duck season i'm going to do a foul friday where i explain uh talk about some of my favorite products uh might go scouting one day it might not necessarily be filmed on friday but it will be posted on Friday for the next four weeks. Uh, duck season here opens up the 21st, I believe, here in Arkansas. I am a pretty much only public land hunter. Like, I only hunt public land here in Arkansas. Uh, occasionally, I will get a private hunt now and then. But on today's episode, I want to show y'all one of my favorite things on the market right now i truly believe that it is a game changer versus your traditional jerk strings all in a line so uh let's get started on the video so motion ducks actually partner with me this season as well as onyx um we're gonna be using them every hunt just about of the year so this is the box this is just gonna be about motion ducks, but this is the box that motion ducks comes in, just regular old box. This is gonna be your spreader, okay? Spread, super simple, okay? One of my favorite things about it is how well it folds up and how easy it is to uncollapse and collapse uh, while you're hunting and like after you're hunting. If you need to move it or anything, it's super easy. So literally, all you've gotta do to uh, open it up out of the box you just just like this just like tent stakes put it together like this what was that like 15 seconds so here it is so this will be sitting in the water just like so you have four this is the smaller one I will show you the ultimate spreader here in a little bit uh, it, these come up so when you jerk it, it it's got a what is that elastic stretchy stuff where it moves it so it's not just like stiff so this is obviously hidden under the water with dirty water as I will be hunting so that's that and then it also comes with your your string and this is going to be an elastic deal as well I'm undo this uh, so you're going to attach this end to your anchor which they do have anchor bags but for my type of hunting uh anchor bags aren't really going to work because if you fill them with rocks and stuff i just used uh i think it was like a five pound weight got it at walmart one of the metal collapsible deals and then so th this end is going to hook to your anchor and this end is going to hook to your spreader. You're going to hook it to your spreader right here. Let's see. Well, I can't really tell that one. You're going to hook it to your spreader right there, just like that, on that side. And then your pull string also has another one of them deals. Hooks to this side, just like that. So, you're going to put your anchor on that side and then you're good to go just need the anchor okay so i will show you how fast it is to so this this is my this is my newest one by the way uh i also have another one all right guys so this is literally one of my bags of decoys from last season this is literally up in the attic i just went and got it down 20 minutes ago and this is how these held up all summer spring on so you pull them out just like this put them together just like that Ooh. and just like that this is that's so fast and so easy compared to regular jerk strings so you had to clip You'd have to run it out in the water, throw it in, and clip every clip onto each decoy. This is so, this takes so much less time 
and uh, I love it. This is the anchor that I use for this one, and I just have it rigged up like this, and I hooked, I actually did it a different way, I hooked that one up, I hooked this one up like this, so all I gotta do is clip it on, close it onto this, and call it a day. You can use four on one spreader, or for the ultimate spreader, you can use seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up, I already have my main, my little spreader set up, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up the other one for to be used as the ultimate spreader. Then I'm gonna get some drone footage of uh, each, and then I also have something else I want to show y'all. Um, I have not yet used this or try it, but this here is the, the feeder, the decoy feeder system. Um, I haven't even taken it out of the bucket, so let's go ahead and do that. Pretty much, it just makes decoys look like they're feeding, like so. Let's go ahead and get her opened up. This is obviously, this is just a two, two decoy system. I have to read the instructions on this one because I'm not really sure how this one goes. Um, comes with the handle as well. I'm guessing you put this in to an anchor and then or run it through the anchor so it pulls it down like so. Let's go ahead and look at these instructions. Yep, that's exactly how it's set up. You put the you have the system set up, you run the line through the anchor and then to yourself. So uh, we're gonna get that set up as well. And then I'm also gonna run a traditional jerk string versus the ju the just four to show y'all how much of a difference it really is. So we got our anchor and we got the meat spreader. Have the ultimate spreader set up all you got to have you put three decoys on the second spreader and you'll have your connecting rod connect this empty space to one of the decoys on the other spreader then you're going to connect this connecting rod to one of the decoys on the other spreader pretty easy so let's try it out now
All right guys, so unfortunately, I don't think I have deep enough water in the pond back here to be able to fully test the feeder system, but the ultimate spreader worked out great as well. Uh, the second spreader, you could also run them in different parts of your hole uh, and have two separate anchors, two separate lines, and it filled the water all the way up, motion on the water, you know. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Foul Friday. I'm Alec Crowder. Subscribe for more duck hunting content, truck content, side-by-side -side content. Don't listen to that fool over there. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, if, you were, if you want to pick up a motion duck spreader, link will be in the bio. Y'all have a good day and see you next Friday.